Today, uh, the topic which I will take is Ectolian Guides. So, Ectolian Guides are uh, nothing but uh, the normal loops we create in any programming language like Java or C. We use while loop, we use for loop. So, uh, if we have a similar kind of a requirement here in Remedy, so we satisfy that requirement using active link guides or filter guides. So today we will see the active link guides. Now, uh, what is an active link guide? It's basically it's basically a container where you will add different active links and then you can execute them as per your sequence. So just to make you understand active link guides, I have created a very simple example which with which I will explain you what exactly is this. So to start with, if you have to create a new active link guide, so you just have to right click here and then say new active link guide. Then first of all, you have to define on which form you want this active link guide to execute. So there will be forms in your application. So you have to decide on which form you want to execute this active link guide. Then uh, permission, uh, as with all workflows we have, similarly we have uh, permissions here with active link guides. Then uh, we can define the entry point. So for active link guides, it will be an active link. Now how we can add um, active links to this guide so that they will be executed in sequence is this part. So here you can just say right click, add active links. So what it will do, okay, so, uh, so first of all, I need to select a form. So, I will I have just created a form so let's see okay now if I say I have added this form I will say add active links I'll get a list of these active links so I can add them one by one or I can select them all and then they will be added so for example I select this three active links so they will be added here in the active link guide then um, this uh, guide will act as a loop for us now coming to our example so what i have done this is an active link guide i have already created so uh, now uh, for this i will explain you using a form so i have created a form where uh, this is a very very simple form where what i will do i will um, put the details of an employee and uh, the salary before tax then what I will do, I will perform some calculations like uh, deduction of uh, tax, PF and some other deduction using the uh, active link guides. For this also we are using a table. So I will explain you what exactly this is, what is the relation between a table and an um, active link guide. So let's go to workflow. Okay, now this is the form. Here I have added a table. So, uh, just to add, add table to any workflow, you just have to right click, you will be get list of tables. So, I am using a table with list view. Then to add the fields, you can direct, double click on this table, go here on this column sections and here you can add these fields. So, currently I am using the same form. So, here I am adding this form. So, you can add some other form and display the data in the table. Now let me show you my active what i have done so this is my button which i have uh, written on this button uh, what i will do i will trigger a active link guide and then inside the active link guide which is this sorry uh, inside the active link guide i have three active links so all these active links will execute as per the sequence so first it will uh, run this active link based on the condition so the condition here is that if the text field is not equal to null so if i have given it some value it will execute similarly for other one if it is not equal to null then the third one where it will also make um, save the changes so these are the three active links which will be executed in that guide now to call this active link guide what i have to do i have to write an active link where on the same form then I have to use this button to run this active link which is this button calculate button then to call this guide this is the option so in the if condition if you right click you will get this option where it says call guide so then 
in the call guide I have selected my guide the one which I have created here I have just uh, clicked here selected it and it's here now there is this another option called table loop so now uh, what is the use of the table loop this is that if you want this uh, guide to run on a table loop or you want to traverse through all the records of a table and perform certain actions then you can select this so here I am using it because uh, what I have to do I have to calculate all the calculations in one go so what I have done I have selected my table field here and here in the table loop I have selected all rows so what this will do whenever I will run this active link guide or call this active link guide it will traverse through all the uh, table records and will execute all the active links which are in that guide on each and every record in the table so let me show you how basically this will run now let's go to the browser okay let me search so i have added these three records you can see these three records i have added let's say these are the employees and uh, this is the percentage of um, tax pf and other deductions for them this is the salary before tax similarly for other two records now if i refresh it you can see the actual salary is yet to be calculated now i'll show you the magic so let me just save this let me okay now you can see i have triggered a workflow and you can see the actual salary has been calculated for all the three employees based on what their um, tax percentage was what their pf percentage and other de deductions was so all the calculations have been done by the my three active, li uh, active link um, active links which are inside the guide so what happened basically just to give you a brief when you click this calculate button it triggered this active link so when this active link was triggered it called a guide so this is the guide which was called then it went here so what it's uh, here also it identified that okay it's a uh, guide written on a table so i need to traverse through all the records of a table so what uh, the guide did it went through to this first record then it ran all these three active links so in the active links there is just simple calculation of text which i have done for active links i have already uh, uh, created a video so you can go through the that video to see how active links are created then uh, this uh, the second one and the third one so all these active links were executed on each and every record and then this calculation was done and it was finally saved in the in the record so this is this is the basic use of an active link guide how it can be used in bmc remedy so you can make a number of uses for active link guide so there are some more options for uh, when you call an active link guide like you can skip the execution you can break it you can move to some particular uh, guide let's say for example i from this uh, active link i need to skip to the third one that also can be done so there are two options basically uh, where which is like uh, adding a new label so then in the active link you can write a workflow to uh, to go to that label or there is one more action in active links which is called go to I'll show you. this is like uh, that action go to so here you can define uh, you can define the execution order so let's say uh, they let's say in uh, let's say i have defined an execution order 10 here now if i go here sorry if i go here in my guide if i go my, here in my guide so if this other calculation has an execution order of 10 then the system will directly when um, the, the system will execute that active link and there's a go to action to 10 it will directly come here so that loop looping can be break, uh, you can break that loop or you can um, continue from a certain part of the guide so these are some advanced options which we can uh, see all later so this was it as of now for active link guides i hope you have all um, understood or you have got a basic understanding of an active link guide thank you